Hello, my name is Quentin Brown and in this tutorial I'm just going to take you through and show you some of the things you can do with the brand new Artista 3. Now I'm no theme designer or graphic artist, however it allows me to create nice looking sites for my customers. This is one we did for Val Display. This is a similar design we did for Leapfrog Machinery. And as you notice, I'm using the vertical menu system that's now available in WordPress. This is an exact replica of a tire house's site that was originally in HTML. And as he built it himself, he wanted to keep the same colors, etc. So we were able to copy it using Artista. This is our mobile website business where we teach people how to create mobile websites. And let's just go and build this site in Artista from scratch because this is the old version 2 so I'm going to upgrade it to the version 3. So when you first open Artista this is what it's going to look like and I'm just choosing the WordPress theme. And we have this suggestion tool on the side here that basically allows you to get some ideas. Also, you can use this style here and deselect all. If you're doing a corporate business site, which is sort of what we're doing, then it will just suggest corporate styles. So let's just take this and let's clear it out. So the first thing I do is I go to Sheet and I don't want any margins, so I'm going to make that naught. I don't want any radius, so I'm going to put no radius. I also don't want any padding, so I'm going to put no padding. And so as you can see, it's already starting to take shape. I'll just now go into the background and I want to do that a white. I don't want this information here, so I'll just make it plain. I don't want this logo here, so that's under header. So as you can see, everything's laid out here just exactly the same as it is in your WordPress site. So I'm going to change this and I'm going to use this image here. I just go to position and then I can place it anywhere I want. Make it bigger. Go OK. I actually don't want it this height. I want to make it a lot smaller, just 100 pixels. Because a lot of people come to this site so I need to make sure it loads quickly. I also don't want any of these borders. So I'm going to make no border. I don't want any shadow. I'm just going to go back in here and do the width. I want it a thousand pixels. Go back to my header and this headline I'm just going to put in here business mobile website. And so I've entered that in. I can position that now. I can make it bigger. I can align it to the left. I might make that subheading just a little bit smaller. And I also might make it blue just for the, just because it will look a lot better. So we just click on the more colors, just pick our color. Now another secret to use when you're trying to copy somebody's website is to use a tool called a hex color picker. And so this is the hex color finder. You can find it in any of the download sites. It's just called hex color finder 3. What it allows us to do is take the eyedropper and find the hex color for their page. This is great when you're trying to replicate a customer's site because quite often they'll want the same color schemes. And so this just allows you to go and get them very easily. And so now in this menu bar, we want to choose the color. And we just click on the more colors. And it has a hex color down here. So I can just copy and paste this, paste it in there, go OK. As you can see now, I've got that nice color in there that I wanted. Now I don't want any of these extra bits and pieces, 
So I'm going to take out the texture, make it plain. I'm also going to take out the gradient and make it plain, just so it's very easy to read. And so just as I'm taking them out, you could also be putting them in. Now this side here, I want a vertical menu so it has nice colours in there. And so we just go to our vertical menu system. We go and choose the position we want, which will be here. As you can see, it's put in that vertical menu system for us. And we can now go in here and choose how we want it to look. I like this one here. And I want to change these colours here to that same blue. So in the passive, I'm going to use that blue. In the active, I'm going to use a grey, this colour here. So when it's active, and then I can do the hovered. So when it's hovered, I like it just to be a light grey. And it's just a matter of playing with the colours. We don't want any border, so we just put no borders. I don't really want that system there, so I want it just plain. And so we're starting to get the look and feel of the site we want. I want to change this pink button, so I just go to buttons, do that fill colour. And we might do it when it's hovered that it's a black, that's fine. And we might leave that little bit of decoration in there as well. And once again, I don't want these icons in, that, in the sidebar. So we just go to the sidebar. So this is our vertical menu. This is our sidebar. And I just want them plain as well. No icons. Now also we might want to put a bit of colour in there. So we just go here, sidebar styling, and go colour. And at the moment that's gone a nice black. However, I would like it to be a bit lighter. So we can just go and fill. We'll just do a lighter colour. And so it's all starting to take shape very quickly. As you can see in the length of this video, I've basically recreated the mobile website that we had on the other page. And so you just go through and keep tweaking. I might change these a little bit so they work more like the sidebar here. We can change these colours here. These are all part in the articles. So all the articles deal with this area you can see surrounded in yellow. So these headings we can all change. So down here it will show us the headings. So we can change our headings. I like mine to be black. We can change the size, say down to 26. You'll see it in real time here. So you can go through and change that. Also in the articles, I don't like to have a border around my images, so I can go border width none, table width, border width, and I'll just take it down to show you it as we do it. So in our table, we don't want any border. This is quite nice. If we want to do our quotes, we can do some more padding. We can put in a different icon. We can change the text, etc. Same for our links. So our hyperlink, we can make our link and I want to have use that blue to keep consistency. And I want it underlined. Visited link, I'll have it's this darker blue. And I also want that underlined. And so it's all starting to take shape. I like this black bottom here. Notice down the bottom here also in our footer it has some words. So we can actually change that in our export options. So here we can put in the author's name, business mobile website. We can put a URL link to our website, version of our template and template URL plus some tags and descriptions before we save it. And then in here, in the footnote, we can just remove that. 
and so it's taken it out of the bottom. And then in WordPress, we'll simply go into the theme properties and paste in our information there. So that's basically a quick overview of how to use Artist 3. As you can see, you can change pretty well everything you want. Another thing I don't want is in my posts, I don't want the date and I will leave the author. And so it's all looking pretty good. Now obviously this information here I want to change as well. So this is in the header and it's in the text. And so that color's fine, the link color's fine, visited is fine, but the hover, I want to move to that blue. And in the author, which is here, I can do exactly the same thing again. And I just change it to that blue, and that works out a lot better. Might also just change that hovered as well. So that looks good. And we can do the same for the footer here. So the text link. We can also choose in the footer here the layout style. And obviously we don't want it that dark. So we will change that to a nice lighter color. That looks good. We can also remove the border. So it just sits there. And so basically now we've virtually got our website very similar to our website. Notice here in our vertical menu, the text passive, I'd actually like it white so it stands out a bit better. Same in the menu, I'd like that text just to be white, nice white color so it really bounces out. And so there we are. If you want to change this information in here, we just go to our fonts and you can choose the type of font you want, the topography you want, and the font scale. So we might make that 100, just make it a bit smaller. So there you are. We've virtually now replicated our website and just made it look a little bit nicer. Now, what I'll do is I'll go and upload this. So we just save. And once it's saved, we can then export it as well. And so we'll just export it as a WordPress theme. Now, you don't want to put any dashes in there. And so we're just going to export that zip file. We'll just go install themes and go and find that theme and upload it then activate it and we'll have our new theme ready for our website.